Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are going to develop a human post detection system using Python and OpenCV. This is basically understanding what's the pose of the human body. So where the skeleton joints are, where the person is focusing, and how is it, how is the body oriented in space? That is the major idea in this project. Now, some of the examples, some of the major uses of these applications is in the sports industry where the management and the coach and the people are trying to understand how people are playing, understanding their player characteristics, how they are performing, how they are dribbling a ball, how they are moving things in, in the playground. So those are some things that people would want to understand, like un basically the player analytics. So that is one of the major uses. And the second of what I can think of is in the marketing industry where these people are trying to understand how customers react to a particular product or even an advertising campaign. So they have a billboard or they have a video playing for an advertisement and people want to understand, these marketing people would want to understand how customers are reacting to these campaigns. So those are some of the major uses of these applications. Previously, it was not possible without using a 3D model, but now there are many algorithms, especially the one open pose, which is from the CMU program. This is a, if you look it up, it's from, I believe from Berkeley University, and uh, they have a lab called CMU lab there, and they're developing something into this very actively. They call it as open pose. So it's something like that, something around those lines that we're doing. And you can see the output over here. There's a link in the description. Go ahead and click on that and you would come to this page right here. So uh, I found this GitHub repository by this gentleman with the name Kwan Hua92, with the username Kwan Hua92. And he had this graph opt.pv file and an implementation of the open post. Uh, I want to say it is from Learn OpenCV, Satya Malik. Uh, I saw some of the quotes was resembling his uh, code over there in his Learn Open CV blog, but I don't know. He, the, the gentleman did not uh, put any proper reference to that. But I want to say open polls. I, I think it's from the Learn Open CV live the website. But we'll see how we can use it in our program right here. So coming down, you can go ahead and open the link and go ahead and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and uh, join us in our journey into learning new AI OpenCV IoT applications. And if it's something that's going to help you, go ahead and subscribe and give us a like so we can grow. Now, the first thing you're doing is cloning my repository. I made a, I, I copied this, I forked the repository into my own account and I added a few things and removed a few things that we needed for this particular implementation on Colab. So go ahead and clone that repository and we're just changing the directory. And this is the whole program. This is just one application that we have here and this is called as a post detector function. And we created this function so we can call that for our images and even for video files. So this is basically using this graph opt.pv file. This is already a trained weight file. And uh, this is coming from the Berkeley pro project for the open pose. And the moment you supply an image, image of a person, it will sift through all the points and understand, give us the information about all the joints in the body. And we are just using OpenCV to draw these points. So we are using the CV line and you're using the CV ellipse to just to draw the joints in the human body. So that's about uh, that's about it. What the OpenCV aspect is. Though all the heavy lifting is taken care of by this. DNN, so deep neural network model, which is coming from the open post. And we just specify and we just supply the image to that neural network right here. And we, and we get this shape output. And we're just swifting through all the points that are detected in that particular uh, image. And we just draw the joints. That's about it. That's as simple as that. What is uh, exactly what we're doing? It takes about uh, 900 to about a thousand seconds, milliseconds to go through one person, one image. So it is pretty slow and uh, it's not the fastest. So you won't be able to do it in real time unless you have a good computer. 
but uh, if you if you are yes of course it will, it's going to help you in real time output so we have this function there called post detector and we are just specifying these images so all these images will be part of the cloned repository and you'll be able to access it also but if you want to do it on your own image just upload the image that you want to run into the collab file right here in the folder section and you should be able to call your own image like i have here image.jpg so coming down here you have another image of this person and it's giving us the output and uh, you can see his he's crisscrossed his statics crisscrossed and there there is another person and he's also f oriented in a different direction the hands are folding and it's still able to understand how the body is oriented so with that's for most of the images and if you have videos that that you want to process as well like i have this dance.mp4 video so whatever video you want to do or even if it's uh, coming from a webcam just change this video capture so if you're doing it from a webcam remove this dance.mp4 you know, including the quotation marks and just put zero and zero stands for your webcam so the default webcam that you have on your computer so it will take the video it will take start reading your webcam and supplying images to the application now that's for videos and if you have uh, you know if you have a uh, static video just go ahead and upload it into the directory and you can call it here and give the name whatever the name of the file is here and it will be able to process it so it'll start the processing it'll take a few seconds go through all the frames in the video and then it'll print out the done processing video email first message for you and that's when the program is done and you would find an output.avi file in the directory section here there'll be another direct, uh, another uh, output.avi and this is the name that we are specifying and that's the file name that you will generate like the one which we saw earlier in the video so with that we come to the conclusion of this program it's as simple as that we're just trying to do a quick human pose estimation here and we already discussed the different types of application this can be used and it's an amazing technology nowadays you don't need those expensive 3d cameras to do this and you, this is something which you can uh, start doing it just by using your simple webcam so with that we come to the conclusion uh if this is something of course that is helping you go ahead and subs consider subscribing to the channel and leave us a like with that take care stay safe bye bye